This is your hopefully 10 minute daily mobility routine. If you have your foam roller, use that. You could also use your hyper bowl, but what I'm gonna have you do first, take the foam roller, rub and scrub right across your sternum, bony part of the chest, all right? Rub and scrub here, you're gonna go right on the outside of your hip. You can do this standing or on the other side of the hip. Okay, just rub. And then you can take it across the back. You can either do it this way or lying down. Or same thing you can do with your hyper bolt, all right? Um, just ooh, a bony part. At the hyper bolt, you're also gonna get in that um, pec minor in your pec right on the inside oh, of your shoulder and other side, but you can also do right across your sacrum. You can go right on the bony parts. I mean, it's slightly uncomfortable, but a lot of tissue intersects across the bony part, bony structure, so it's good to, to use something to kind of release that tissue. You can also use your knuckles, especially if you're traveling, all right? So you're gonna start there. From there, we're gonna just come to all fours, cat cow. We're gonna do six reps for simplicity, all right? Tuck and release six times. Beautiful, so you're gonna um, exhale as you pull your tailbone under. Inhale as you open up the diaphragm, all right? One more, and then flip your fingertips towards your knees, and then just do the same thing. You can always slow your cat cow down. You can wiggle around in your cat cow. All right. Beautiful. All right, then you're gonna put those hands back, push up and back. We're gonna go six times, down dog to up dog. All right. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do it with you. You don't have to go quite this fast, but I'm determined to make this video only 10 minutes for fear you won't do it otherwise. All right, on that last one, you're gonna bring your right knee forward, slide your left knee around. So we're in this 90 degree angle from your hip knee to ankle on your front leg and on the back. So remember, you can always um, grab a pillow. Uh, you could stick something right under your front hip, that side of your front leg, that um, will elevate this hip and make it easier for you to do these 90-90 hip hinges, all right? So you're gonna hinge forward and then push down on that back foot and lift the knee, all right? You're just gonna hinge forward and we're doing six, okay? Three, four, five, one more. Beautiful, awesome. And then see if you can just push back and switch, all right? Once again, if you need to grab a pillow um, or your balance pad, or whatever you need, go ahead. All right, so hinge, beautiful. Lift, two, three, four, five, and one more. Awesome. All right, then you're just gonna take this front leg, pull it back, to all fours and we're gonna do our hip rotation. So make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders, knees are stacked right underneath your hips, toes tucked under, keep the crown of your head pointing forward and find a neutral spine. So if you need to arch up and down a little bit and just till you find that nice neutral spine, take a deep inhale, pack it down, knee to chest, knee to tricep, keep the knee high as you move the foot all the way around, bring the knee back down, right knee down to meet your left, and then push up and back with your right foot. Externally rotate the knee, but don't move the 
So what you don't want to do is rotate the hip up. I know we do these and I, we talk about it, but I'm just going to give you a few tips. Move it all the way around. So you're going to do three rotations clockwise and counterclockwise, right? So forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and then we're going to switch, okay? So let's go one more full rotation and reverse on the right. Beautiful. And then we'll switch. So shake it out a little bit. And then we'll do the left side. Take a deep inhale. Pack it down. Knee to chest. Knee to tricep. Keep the knee high as you rotate the foot all the way around. And reverse. Awesome. Again, up, out, oh, around, and reverse. And one more. Up, out, around, and reverse. Okay? Now you're going to come to kneeling. Right knee forward, left knee down. Tuck. Push that left hip under. Tuck it under. Arms out. Right hand is going to reach all the way back. Bring it back to meet your left. So fingertips pressed. If you want to press your fingertips together when you come back, you'll activate more muscles. Reach all the way back. Push. Remember, we're doing six. Three. Four. Five. Six. Awesome. So then what you're going to do from here is you're going to take that front leg, bring it out to about 45 degrees. So now you're externally rotating that right hip. Take the back of your right hand, open that hip up. Same thing, take your left hand all the way to meet your right, and then oh, reach up and out on the diagonal. So when you reach up and out on the diagonal, really open, open up your chest and open up the hip, all right? So we're doing three, four, squeeze that left shoulder blade back, five, and one more. Beautiful, okay? And then we're just gonna switch. Left leg forward, right knee down, tuck those toes under, tuck that right hip under, fingertips together, left arm reaches all the way back, back to center. Remember, you can press your fingertips together when you return, help you turn your glutes on. Four, five, one more, six. Nice. Open this hip up. Externally rotate. Back of the forearm. Presses in. Right fingertips meet. Open. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Beautiful. And you're just going to slide on down. We're going to do 20 hip bridges and then you're done. All right. So um, I use, like to use my fingers as a guide. So if you reach your arms down by your side, make sure your fingertips kind of touch your heels, angle those toes in just slightly, pull your rib cage down, push on the gas with your feet, lift your hips high and tight. And we'll do 20, okay? And then we're done. This is seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Squeeze your boute at the top. Two, three, don't let your knees flare out too much. Four, five, six, seven, eight nine and last one awesome all right shake it out you could you could do your core work right at the end if you wanted to add your plank and tap and your crunches do two sets of those um actually that would be 